Hey guys, Chrono16 here. Real quick video, um, just to let you know that yes, you can still see Comet Lovejoy C2014 Q2. Uh, here's a picture that I simply went outside last night after making some adjustments to the settings on the camera. Uh, I went outside uh, with a regular uh, digital handheld camera and took this picture of uh, Comet Lovejoy. Now, this over here is uh, Stellarium which you can download for free, the links are under the video. And this is the position of Comet Lovejoy tonight. Now I'm making this video in the afternoon, it's almost four o'clock in the afternoon central time here when I'm making this video. So I've obviously put this to right after sunset and this is exactly where Lovejoy will be tonight for all of you here in the United States that have clear skies. This is where it was last night. Now you look at the video, this is the Pleiadians or the Pleiades, excuse me, <laughs> right here, and you can see it right here, represented on Stellarium. Now, over here to the right and up a little bit, last night was the position of Comet Lovejoy, that green blob right there. You can see it right there. Obviously, that's Comet Lovejoy, and this is the uh, Pleiades. Now, tonight, this is where it's gonna be. It's gonna be slightly further up in the sky, and you can see it in the same direction. An easy, simple way to go outside and see this thing is with a pair of uh, 10 by 50 binoculars if you have them. Uh, and go outside, look at the uh, Pleiades, and just kind of go slightly to the right and up a little bit, and you should be able to see the green blob C2014 Q2 Lovejoy. It's getting brighter as it uh, still is approaching the sun. And uh, last night I was able to see the comet with my naked eyes barely it's, it's it's pretty dark here where i'm at at my home location so i could actually kind of see it with my naked eyes but you can definitely see it with a pair of 10 by 50 binoculars uh definitely with a telescope and with a simple digital camera if you adjust the settings correctly you can go outside and, and snap a picture of the comet just like i did last night wide field obviously it's in the wide field here you can go outside and snap a picture of the comet let's uh, zoom in just a little bit there and you can see again, uh, this matches up, and this is from last night, by the way, uh, matches up exactly. Now tonight, obviously each night the comet's gonna get a little higher in the sky because it's moving uh, fast relatively, uh, uh, re relative to the uh, stars in the background there. But as you can see, the stars line up and everything, and tonight the comet will be right up here in this area. If you look very closely, it'll be right up here in this area relative to these two stars here. See them right there, see how they match up exactly with the picture I took? That was Lovejoy last night on the 16th. Tonight on the 17th, it'll be slightly right here in this area if you go outside and look in that part of the sky. Real simple, guys. Go check it out. It's an awesome comet. We're gonna try to get some uh, telescope footage of the comet as well. Anyway, much love. Thanks for watching. Clear skies.